Good morning, buenos dias, pues about Khair. Welcome back for another lesson in from English al Español a la Arabi, where we take words and phrases and translate them from English to Spanish and then to Arabic. Today is the 11th of August 2020, and I have one short phrase that's actually structured in classical Arabic that I'm taking from a very useful modern standard Arabic language lesson video that I found on a very useful YouTube channel called Arabic Blooms. And the name of the very useful video is Arabic phrases protect yourself from coronavirus. And very useful in Spanish is muy útil, muy útil, útil, useful from utility. Útil, useful. And útil, useful in Arabic is mufid, mufid. Very useful, mufid jidden or mufid kathir, either one. Mufid, useful, useful. So, this is a prelude to a video that I'm going to do where I'm going to analyze the American proverb, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, attributed to Benjamin Franklin. But today we're going to streamline it and just say, prevention is better than cure, as it appears in this Arabic language video. Now, in the Spanish, English and Spanish both draw upon the same Latin roots for these words and these verbs as well. So in Spanish as a noun, prevention is la prevención, la prevención, with the female definite article there, la prevención, and the cure is the same way, la cura, la cura. But don't say el cura because that means the Catholic priest, la cura, the cure, el cura, the Catholic priest. In its proverbial form, this saying or this proverb in Spanish actually is formed as más vale prevenir que curar. So we have más vale, which is translate, it's better, it's worth more literally. Más vale prevenir, the infinitive, to prevent, que curar, the infinitive, to cure. Más vale prevenir que curar. And in Arabic, now we come to some pronunciation issues. And the word for prevention, with the definite article, the prevention, is a wikaya, a wikaya, a wikaya, wika, ka, ka, the cough letter. To pronounce good modern standard Arabic, we have to master that ka, ka, wikaya, wikaya. And here in the classical form, we're going to be pronouncing it with a dhamma at the end, so it becomes a wikaya tu, a wikaya tu. The prevention, khairun, is Better, better, khairun, better, khairun. And this is just khair, the word we use, like, it's about khair, good morning, morning of goodness. Literally, khair means goodness. So when you say, how are you? Be khair, alhamdulillah, you're saying, with goodness, all praise to God. Alhamdulillah. So, um, a wikaya, a wikaya to khairun min al ailaj, al ailaj, the cure. And this is really just the cures. We're talking about physical conditions, I believe. I don't really think it applies to any other situation. So, Now, in modern standard Arabic, we're never going to use to say better. What we will use are one of two synonymous and frequently used words that are both the comparative and the superlative. And they are aftal, aftal. So we have to be conscious on aftal of how we pronounce that big thick D, because if we don't pronounce that correctly, they'll make fun of us. Aftal. And similar to Spanish, where mejor is the comparative, when we add a pronoun in front of mejor, we get the best. So lo mejor is the usual one. Lo mejor, el mejor, la mejor. Either one means the best, but most commonly, lo mejor es estar en casa. It's best to be at home. So in the same way, el aftal can often mean the best, depending on the context and how we're using it. The good thing about aftal, and it never changes, the same as its counterpart or its synonymous, synonymous term, synonymous word, ahsan, ahsan. So we have the hard H there, ahsan. And this is related to like hasanan, Okay, Hassanan in modern uh, standard Arabic, or even the, the male name Hassan, which really means good. So, Ahsan, best, or El Ahsan, the best. Aftal Ahsan. So we can put the, both of these words in this sentence, and it's no longer a classical proverb, but it would just become part of a conversation, and we might say, Awakaya Ahsan min El Ailaj. 
and that would be, be translated the same way. Prevention is better than cure. And we could also use aftal and say, wakaya aftal min el ailaj. And that means equally the same thing. Prevention is better than cure. So I hope you learned how to use aftal and ahsan and wakaya and el ailaj. Thank you very much for viewing. Have a great day. God bless you. Dios les bendiga. Adios, son